Hey everyone, it's Marlo with Nerdy Mom Studios, and I'm back. Uh, today we watched, well yesterday, um, Avatar The Way of Water, and we will have a kids review at the end, so stay tuned for that. And if you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and with notifications on, I truly appreciate it. Anyway, so let's get started. It was a really long movie. So we have Sam Worthington back as Jake Sully. We have Zoe, Zoe Saldana back as Natiri and starts off showing what they've been up to in the last 13 years and um, they had kids they had two boys and a little girl and they also have a fourth daughter they treat her as her daughter and it was signorini's weavers can't say her name her avatar ended up being pregnant when she died and she had a child um, so that was kiri we also meet um, this kid spider he ended up being the colonel from the first movie, his son. I guess he was always around in the first movie. We just didn't see him. But once he, his dad died, he stuck around and became part of the Avatar family without um, being an Avatar. There were still humans that stayed behind to do good research and do good. And so that's where he lived. Um, we also get introduced to Edie Falco's character. And she is some military head honcho who... Um, wants to kill jake Sully because he's taking down all of the what is it the sky people um the bad guy from the first movie i can't say his name but i know he's the colonel they he died but like before he died they turned his memories into an avatar so his avatar body could still live so he, it's basically him just a clone of him in the avatar body but the real him is dead so edie falco's character brings uh these military people with the colonel and they set out to try and find Jake Sully to kill him, and and the kids end up stu uh, stumbling upon him. Um, there's the older son and the middle son. I cannot say their names to save my life, <laughs> so I'm not even going to try. The middle son ends up always getting them into trouble. Um, again, they find the military group, and the military group finds, sees them, and captures them, and they try and lure Jake Sully to them. Um, so jake and atiri come and save the kids unfortunately spider gets left behind which is so sad poor kid um but he already knows who his dad is he knows he's the colonel and then he realizes the colonel realizes that's his son because again he has the memories of the other guy of the real guy that died um so he uses um spider um as i guess like a tour guide in a way <laughs> he teaches them the avatar way um the village people the language how to fly everything um they're you they're again he's held hostage he doesn't want to do this but he's gonna do it so you can stay alive so jake and atiri get scared because their kids were at danger and they know that they're after that them so they don't want their, their village to get in trouble so they take off um they run far away so that they can keep everybody safe and themselves safe there they meet the reef people and um first we'll see cliff curtis as tonawawi i hope i'm saying that right and then kate winslet as ronal and again they're the chief people of their village and um their village is gorgeous the visuals in this movie is amazing um you have to see it in imax we watched it in 3d it wasn't too bad but you have to watch it in imax um anyways they have a daughter she ends up making eyes with the middle son, middle aged son. Um, so yeah, keep an eye on those two. But anyways, it just shows us the whole their whole village. They have to adapt to their life. Those village people, the reef people, they are much different than the Avatar um, rainforest people. So for instance, they're much lighter, blue skin. They have their four fingers. Again, Jake and his sons, they all have the five fingers because they're half human, half Avatar. So um, yeah, they. Also, everything, their animals are much different. The birds that they fly, they use the water to like fly through. It's pretty cool. Um, they have different ancestral stuff. Like they make friends with whales. Um, but anyways, while they're exploring and teaching them their ways, Kiri ends up, you know, she ends up like acting different. She says she feels Eowa, their, their god, and sees her and all that. And so that's something that can definitely build up later on. The middle-aged son, he always keeps getting in trouble. The older son keeps getting him out of trouble. And they butt heads a lot. Jake gets mad at the middle-aged son a lot. He gets in trouble. And um, he ends up feeling like an outsider and makes friends with one of their outsider whales, which if that sounds funny, it does. It is. It's pretty funny. But anyways, we just get a long, again, it's a long movie. They could have maybe trimmed it down a bit, but it's a lot of 
it's interesting. I wouldn't say I was bored, but it was pretty long. Um, so yeah, uh, Spider is still teaching his dad. They're kind of bonding. You can kind of see like they're bonding and clicking with Spider teaching the Colonel things about the Avatar way and all that. So it's pretty interesting to see. They end up going village to village, um, looking for Jake and his family, burning down villages till they finally make their way to um, their, their village, the Reef People village. And the kids, of course, are the first ones to find him. And they call Jake Soli over. Jake, t- um, he tells them that they've been captured. Half of them had been captured. And Jake and Natiri go and tell the Reef People chief, Ton- Tonawari and um, Ronal. I hope I'm saying it right. Um, so they all set out to start war with the Sky People. Again, the, there's another group of sky people that are killing the whales just for some serum that's in them that is going to help the stop that helps stop the aging process. So it's another bad guy in there. But anyways, um, they go to war. They all start fighting. Um, the kids keep getting trapped, untrapped. Um, that was a pretty interesting part. And um, yeah, one of the kids die. I did not expect that. Again, this is it's so sad zoe saldana's acting i mean she's really good at like trauma acting like it's pretty sad but it it was really sad it made me get teary-eyed um so their oldest son dies trying to protect the middle-aged son again he's always getting into trouble and um jake and natiri end up going to fight the colonel and natiri goes full-on savage on him and all every all the military people on board trying to save the rest of their kids and um the ship ends up sinking while as they're fighting which it's james cameron and it was exactly like there's scenes in there that was exactly like titanic when the titanic was um sinking which was pretty funny but the action sequence the all of that was so well done and it it's understanding and understandable why this movie took so long the visuals and the choreograph- choreography and then again people holding their breaths for so long underwater that took so much training and they also filmed the third movie back to back with the second movie so we know there is a third movie coming so anyways back to the fight um so the boats sinking Natiri and the youngest daughter end up getting trapped under the water and um jake and the middle son end up like jake ends up beating the colonel and the son is trying to teach jake how to hold his breath because jake didn't spend time with the kids like the like um the middle son did the kids from the reef people ended up teaching them how to hold their breath for a long time um so he's trying to teach his dad before they drown um how to hold their breath and kiri ends up having some special powers and ends up helping find Natiri and the younger sister and Jake and his son end up making it up to the top. Spider ends up saving his dad. So that was interesting to see. Um, He did look like he didn't want to save him, but he felt guilty. So he saved him and his dad asked him to go with him and he turned him down. He wanted to stick with the Avatar people. And um, that's pretty much that. And we know the Colonel's still alive and we know Edie Falco's character is still there and they still want Jake Sully dead. We know the earth is deteriorating and that's why they want to investigate Avatar so that they can make make earth or their people safe or rebuild. So the movie ends with Jake and Natiri having a funeral for their son. They end up going down underwater to their Iowa down there where they connect their hair to them. And that's where they're able to see their son as a kid. And it was just so heart-wrenching, really sad, but beautiful at the same time, the meaning behind it. But anyways, it was such a great movie. Um, There's so much story that can be told. And we know that James Cameron has this a goal of six movies i think it is or eight um but for sure we're getting the third one he says if the second one or the third one don't do well then we're ending it at the third but there's so many ways this movie can go and again beautiful movie um beautiful graphics beautiful cinematography great acting and it was awesome i liked it a lot better than the first movie it was a big improvement and um yeah i would give it an eight and a half out of ten maybe one of my top five movies of this year. Um, 
So now let's hear from May and Daniel what they thought. All right, Daniel, what did you think of the movie? I like it with it. It's an L10. It was so full of DD. So he says he gives it a 10 out of 10, and it was so fun in 3D. Um, he really enjoyed the 3D. This was their first time watching it in 3D. He's about to be 6, and May's about to be 10. So for anyone who's wondering if they should take their kids, there's the age group for that. And May, uh, what do you think about the movie? Um, I liked it. I would give it a 9.5 out of 10. Yeah, what did you like about it? Um, I don't know. I just liked how it looked. Yeah, it was really cool. Well, there you guys have it. Um, again, if you haven't liked it, subscribe. Please do so. And thanks so much for the support.